everyone. Welcome to Jolly Molly TV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get an embroidery design off of a package product like this one here from Kimberbell onto a USB flash drive that you can put in your embroidery machine and stitch out these fun projects. So basically you have purchased a wonderful embroidery design. In fact, this one is Kimberbell's Two Scoops Bench Pillow. And you're all ready to go, but now you need to get this design off of the CD and into your computer. How do you do that? So in this package, we're going to have all the embroidery designs and the formats that you need for your machine. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open it up and you've got a CD. Okay, so this will also tell you the formats that are on it. The ART, the DST, EXP, HUS, JEF. PES, VIP, VP3, and XXX. So now we need to get the files off this CD and onto this. This is a flash drive. Most modern machines are driven off of a USB. Okay, so any of these new designs can go onto a USB drive, which then will go into your embroidery machine where you stitch out the designs. Now I have a brother, Dream Machine. And it does take the USB. But one of the things I highly recommend before we just start this process is you can go to Amazon and pick up one of these. This is um, just happens to be a smart cube brand. There's many, many brands out there. But what this is called is basically a USB extender. What this is, is this has a USB end just like your USB drive does. This end will go directly into your embroidery machine. Okay. This extender has multiple USB ports on it. I happen to pick one that has four. For an embroidery machine, you're not really going to need one that has 16 or 10. Four is more than ample because more times than not, you're only going to have one USB flash drive in here because you really don't want to confuse your embroidery machine by having too many things attached to it. So even though this one has four, I only plug one in at any given time. Okay. One of the other reasons that I kind of buy one with at least a few on it is because these ports do go bad eventually because if things are going in and out of it, your flash drives are going in and out. One of these can wear out on the inside, but in that case, I would still have three more to use. So it kind of prolongs the life of the extender box. If you have maybe two or three or four ports in it, so that these coming in and out if that port happens to get damaged or is no longer functioning, you've got a few more that you can use out of the same port. So that's why I chose this one that has four ports in it. But the reason that this is really important if you own an embroidery machine is because, like I said, if these ports can go bad here, so can the port that's in your embroidery machine. And that's taking the full force of a regular USB drive going in and out. You have one of these with a decent cord here. I think this is like a 12 inch cord. This goes in your embroidery machine and stays there. You don't unplug this. I put this on the table next to my machine and I plug my flash drives into this. This is getting the wear and tear of coming in and out. This and your embroidery machine is not. It's a very expensive repair to repair this port inside your embroidery machine. Whereas this unit was like $12. So this to me is a nice safety net. This stays in your machine. And then this takes the damage if something happens to this. I've got multiple ports to use. These all go. I take this out, replace it with another one for $12. And it's not hundreds and hundreds of dollars to replace this same thing that is inside your embroidery machine. This is a real smart investment. I also recommend getting one, like I said, with a cord that's at least 12 inches. A lot of them have a three inch cord. 
that's too short because somewhere on border machines the port is up high and you want this to be sitting on the table not kitty corner or up on this because that could put undue pressure on your USB and your embroidery machine as well. So I recommend getting one with at least a 12 inch. So wherever your port is, I think mine is actually sideways like this, in your machine, this will have plenty of room to go down to the table and sit nicely. And that's where you put your flash drives in like that. So highly recommend this, this little accessory. It's a life lifesaver for your machine. So I've got this. I'm going to plug this back into my machine and that will be used there. But now I've got a flash drive that I still have to get these files off the CD onto the flash drive. Okay. Most computers nowadays do not come with a CD or DVD drive. If you have an older computer, yeah, you're lucky because it will have one in it. If you don't, you have a new computer and you don't have one, again, you can get one of these on Amazon. This is actually a portable CD DVD writer. So the DVD, this one just says R or W. That just means it can read it and it can also read and write it. So if I'm burning CDs or I'm copying files to a CD, I can write with this drive as well. These are going to run $20, $24 for a good CD drive, but this is really handy to have on file because honestly, I love having my embroidery files on a CD. I don't like downloading them because downloading speeds vary and sometimes it takes forever to download a file. So I love it when I can buy a program on a CD and then move it to my computer. Okay. This CD has its little cord hidden on the bottom. It's also a USB drive. So all you're going to do now, when we go over to the computer, you're going to plug this unit into your computer. Then you're going to plug this flash drive into your computer as well. So these two things need to go into a USB slot on your computer. And that's all you need. This is for your embroidery machine, so that's why I'm setting that aside later. But right now you need a CD drive and you need a see you need a CD DVD drive and you need your flash drive and just plug those two into your computer. Okay, so once you've got your flash drive plugged into your computer and your CD drive plugged into your computer, go ahead and push the in and out button on your drive. Take the CD out of the case, which you will push in on the center, and that helps free up the CD. Don't touch the back. That's where everything's written. So you can see my fingers are on the edge and on the inside hole of the CD. Once this is plugged into your computer, you will be able to open the door on this, put it in, put the CD in the drive, and just push it down in the middle. But again, don't touch this part of the CD. Okay, so then let's do that and head over to the computer and then I'll walk you through how to move those designs over into a file folder on your flash drive. Let's go to the computer. Okay, we're at the computer and I've plugged in my little portable CD DVD drive into the USB slot on my computer. But I've also put the USB flash drive into a USB uh, spot on my computer as well. So I have two things plugged in. So you need at least two USB slots on your computer. One for the portable drive, plug that in, and one for your little flash drive, your USB flash drive. Okay, and you can see on my flash drive here, I actually have projects that I'm working on on my embroidery machine. I only keep the files on this drive that I'm actively working on on my machine. You want to keep these files to a minimum because the more files that are on your flash drive means the harder your embroidery machine has to work to pull up the files. It's going to take longer to pull them up and shift between one file to another. So I only keep it to literally what I'm using at the moment. And right now you can tell I've got 
at least four projects going. I've got Candy Cane by Kimberbell, Candy Corn, Red, White, and Bloom. Those are all by Kimberbell. And now we're going to add this new project, which is two scoops. Then I have a Prancer project by Hatched in Africa. And then I have some small little uh, designs I'm using by Urban Threads and Embroidery Library. So I have just what I need to do the projects that I'm currently working on on this flash drive. So that's what we're going to do. You can also see here that I separate my projects by a subfolder. So we're going to create a new one because we want to put this next design, whatever you're working on. In my instance, it's Kimberbell's two scoops. I want to put this in a separate file folder so it's easy to find the files that I need. So up here in the upper left, you see a yellow new folder. I'm going to click on that and it brings it right down and I'm just going to call it two scoops. So you name it, whatever project that you are working on. And you see magically it's created a folder where now we can put all of the files related to this project. So I'm going to go back to the DVD drive. And I am going to search for just what I need for my machine and only bring those items in. So I'm going to go to the, this one, Kimberbell has it in a subfolder called Embroidery Files. I'm going to double click with the left mouse button. And here you'll see all the formats that are available in this project. So you're going to pick the file folder with your format. Mine happens to be Pez, which is by brother. So I'm going to double click on that folder and it's going to pull up all the embroidery files that are in that PEZ format. So you select the folder that you need for your format and embroidery machine, double click and you'll see all your files come up. So I'm going to left click on the first file. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to left click on the bottom. Okay, again, that was left click on the top, hold down your shift key on the keyboard, and then left click on the last file. And you see it highlights all of the files. This is easy because now we can bring it in all at once. Okay, I'll run that by one more time. Left click on the first one and it gives it a little highlight. Hold down the shift button, left click on the bottom file and they're all now in blue. Now anywhere in this area that's blue, not out here where it's white, anywhere in this area now it's blue, I want you to click your mouse on the right side. Use click with the right button. So I'm going to right click and then it comes up with copy. That's what we want to do and it's going to copy everything that's highlighted in blue. So I'm going to click copy. It now has all those files in its memory ready to go. Now I'm going to go and click with the left button on the USB flash drive. And remember that folder that we created called two scoops. I'm going to double click with the left button on that. And it says this folder is empty and that's what we want. Now anywhere in here that's white, you're going to right click. And now you're going to say paste. What the paste function is going to do is it's going to bring all those files in. Okay, so watch what happens when we click on paste. Ta da! It brought in all of those items that were highlighted. They're still highlighted, which we don't need anymore. So I'm going to click anywhere here in the white area once with my left button on the mouse, and it unhighlights those areas. Now, on the flash drive in my two scoops folder, I have all the files that pertain to the two scoops project. Okay, so it's fairly easy. You're basically just going to your CD DVD drive. You're pulling up with the left mouse key your format that you need for your machine. You are left clicking once leaving down the shift button, left click again, highlights everything. You will click once with your right mouse key, click copy. 
you're going to go to your little flash drive which is going to go in your machine you're going to go to that brand new folder that we just made and then you're going to right click and click paste and then it will bring all of these in for you so now your flash drive has the files you need on it don't take the flash drive out of the computer yet okay what we need to do is we need to properly eject the flash drive this helps keep your flash drive clear of errors it helps it last longer because you're not just yanking it out while the computer still wants to read it so what you do is you x out this window you want to close this one out and then at the bottom right of your screen you're going to see this little up arrow it says show hidden icons then you're going to go through here and you're going to see this it literally looks like a flash drive right here and it says safely remove hardware and eject media you click on that and I have several things attached to my computer but I am going to look at here this is where the M drive is what the computer assigned my little flash drive I want to eject that that is the little flash drive that goes to my embroidery machine I click eject cruiser and it now says it's safe to remove that hardware so then I go to my computer and I pull out the flash drive and so that is ready to take over to my embroidery machine now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to left click again on that little up arrow I'm going to left click again on the safely remove and now I can remove the CD drive that has my projects in it this is a CD slash DVD drive so now I can click on that and now it will eject that CD DVD drive off the computer and I can safely unplug that as well. It pops open the drive and I'm going to take my CD out, close the drive back up and now I can take the CD drive, DVD drive out of my computer and it makes a little noise. So now that is done. So when you do this eject, again, you are saving the life of your flash drive. I'm putting my, my CD back in the case here. You are saving the life of that USB and allow it to last longer because you're not yanking it out while the computer still has access to it. Okay, so if we go back here, you're not going to see any of those drives at all. Those drives are now gone, and that's what we want. Okay, so uploading a design is fairly easy. As always, practice makes perfect. So the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. Feel free to refer back to this video anytime you need to. So I really hope that this helped you out and being more comfortable getting the design off the CD and onto your flash drive so you can get that over to your embroidery machine and get started creating. So if you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. You can click the bell notification as well and that'll notify you every time I do put one out. But subscribing is also the best way to help support my channel and I truly appreciate that. So again, I hope this helped you out and stay tuned here on Jolly Molly TV for more fun videos. Until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.